Well, folks, here we are. Once again, Joe shows up somewhere. So you want to be a crane operator. So you say. Well, you come to the right place there, friends. Cruise Crane Training International is back on site, live after 4th of July. We got it going on right here in the beautiful town of Supply, real close to where I like to hang out called Ocean Isle Beach. So here we are. So what's Joe doing today and where's Joe? Well, you're going to be surprised. It's not one crane. No! We got two cranes going on at one time, folks. We got massive work going on here at the Public Utilities, Brunswick County, Supply, North Carolina. These are the men and women that take care of your water and your wastewater. If you never thought about it before, you should think about it now and say thank you, Public Utilities. Thanks for doing a good job with my water and my wastewater and getting it back to me safely. So here we are, we've got an operator right here. He's very experienced, working the levers. And what's he working the levers on? Oh, I don't know, about 520 or 530 pounds of water. Not high quality water like they're pumping out, but some regular water, non-potable we call it. What's he gotta do? Oh, just take it through this little six foot course without tearing up anything. So far, all my tennis balls are still standing. Poles are still in line. Squares untouched. Not a whole lot of paint missing. But walk with me. Walk with me through this little zigzag course that these crane operators have to tackle. Six foot. Look at this 55 gallon drum barrel. Filled full of water. Even got a dynamometer on there let him know what kind of dynamic loading he's really causing. Started out at 510 pounds. The meter says 70 pounds of force, peak. He's created 70 pounds more on the crane just because he's swinging and lifting and lowering, doing all the things that a crane operator is going to do. These are some of the next contestants. Wave to me, next contestants. Come on down, they're next. They're gonna be your new mobile crane operators. Look, we got three more over here. Oh, look, what are we doing? What's going on here? I guess we're sponsoring Lowe's today. We got a Lowe's bucket, thank you Lowe's. Another crane operator, how you doing? Oh look, he wasn't supposed to wave, he's supposed to pay attention. I'm gonna have to fail him, aren't I? So on here, instead of zigzag, we've got to move this bucket full of water in and out zigzag back and forth looks like we've already got one tennis ball down up oh, holes about to go any minute and I know you're probably sitting at home going ah I could do that well just give me a call I'll give you the opportunity anywhere any place anytime for fun or for real let me wave at a few it looks like I got some people I need to wave to that's watching this video hello people out there that's waving back at me. Hope you had a great 4th of July. But if you ever wonder what Joe Cruz does on certain days during the week, certain places, certain times, this is it. All about zigzagging the course. It's just one small part. It's very, very important that we set the crane up. We got to set it up on outriggers. We got to inspect it. We got to inspect the tires. We got to check everything just like a DOT inspection. We got to look up at the crane. Look up at the boom, hydraulic cylinder, boom tip all the way up there, boom tip sheaves, wire rope, the block, the hook, the latch, and of course, the load. So here we are, it looks like we had a contestant finally finish his run. Let's find out how we did. Well, how'd we do? 70. So we created 70 pounds of dynamic loading right here. And this operator is very smooth. He's a good operator. That's the thing that we need to be aware of is that we create dynamic loading just by swinging, hoisting, lowering, booming up, and booming down. All right. All right. Well, I'm going to cut it off from here, everybody. I'll, I'll shoot another video in a little while of another uh, great crane operation. Hope you have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.